In preparation for selecting your courses for next school year, we need to review the graduation requirements for all classes beginning with the class of 2018 and beyond. Teachers, please distribute the graduation requirements handout. The graduation requirement handout is a Xerox copy of the inside of the actual graduation requirements brochure. Please refer to the table on the left that outlines the various requirements for graduation. To the right of the table is an explanation of the various certificates a student is able to obtain beyond the basic high school diploma. We will now go over all different parts separately. Referring to the table on the left, English is the first category. A student must first earn four total credits which must specifically include English Language Arts 1, English Language Arts 2, and half a credit in Expository Writing course. This expository writing requirement can be fulfilled with a credit in English 3 or 4, AP English, and or Early College English 100. The remaining 1.5 credits will be earned throughout your 11th and 12th grade English classes, for a total of 4. Assuming you pass your English class every year, you should earn all 4 credits. If you fail a course, you will need to retake that course, which means doubling up in the next or subsequent years. Social Studies also requires four credits, with specific credits earned in World History 1, one credit, U.S. History, one credit, Modern History of Hawaii, half a credit, and Participation in Democracy, half a credit. Once again, failure to earn a Social Studies credit in any one year will result in taking two Social study courses in the next year or so. Only three credits are required for math two of which must be Algebra 1 and Geometry. If you are planning to attend college, you should take a fourth year of math, as a placement test will be given upon entry into college. Science requires only three credits as well, with one being in Biology. Once again, if you are planning to attend college, it is strongly recommended that you take a fourth science course in your senior year. In this next category, you must earn two credits in any of the one following categories world language, fine arts, or career and technical education, otherwise known as CTE. In world language, two credits in a single world language must be earned. Credits must be taken in a sequence with consecutive course numbers in the study of one language. For example, earning credits in Spanish 1 and Spanish 2, not Spanish 1 and Japanese 1. In fine arts, two credits must be earned in the following discipline. Visual arts, like photography or ceramics, music, like band or guitar, drama or dance. Credits do not need to be in a single discipline. In CTE, two credits need to be in a single career pathway program of study sequence, like Public and Human Service Pathway Core and Culinary 1. JROTC is fulfilled with two years of JROTC. One credit in PE is obtained with a half credit in PEP 1005 or 9th grade PE and a half credit in basic PE elective like PEP 1010 or 10th grade PE, swimming, physical fitness, etc. Weight training and team sports count as electives. They do not meet the PE graduation requirement. Health today and tomorrow taken in your 10th grade year fulfills the half credit in health. Although students begin working under PTPs in the 9th grade, half a credit is earned in the first semester of your senior year. A senior failing to turn his or her PTP will not be awarded a high school diploma and not participate in the graduation ceremony. This year, the class of 2019 must turn in their PTPs at the end of third quarter. Upon doing this, as seniors, you will be able to concentrate on college and scholarship applications and the FAFSA, which opens on October 1st. Lastly, six credits must be earned in elective courses. Elective courses are all courses not listed above. Every year, a student is required to enroll in seven classes. Assuming one passes all of the classes every year after four years, a student will earn 28 credits. Remember, 24 credits are the minimum requirements for graduation. In order to be promoted to the next grade, a ninth grader must earn a minimum of five credits, a 10th grader, 11 credits, and an 11th grader, 17 credits. Beyond the basic high school diploma, students who have a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or above have the option of earning three different honor recognition certificates, academic honors, CTE honors, or STEM honors. Be sure to read the requirements specific to each certificate. In preparation for selecting your courses for the next school year, we need to review the graduation requirements for all classes beginning with the class of 2016 and beyond. We reviewed the State of Hawaii graduation requirements for the class of 2016 and beyond. Today, you will be provided with your own transcript the, that lists all of the classes you have taken. 
and earned credit for or failed in the past. We'll, we will be going over each part of the transcript and then breaking it down into parts for you to follow along. Teachers, please distribute the student's transcripts and the graduation requirement checklist form. This is what a typical transcript looks like for a senior. Your transcript may look similar to this depending on the amount of courses you have taken or how long you've been in school. Let's look at the various parts of a transcript. The top of the page, you will find your demographic information like name, date of birth, your student ID number, enrollment history, and transcript statistics. In this area, it shows your cumulative GPA and class rank. The bottom portion of your transcript shows all of the courses you have taken. They are grouped by year the courses were taken along with the title of the course, the ACCN number, grade, and credit earned. The total credits earned at the end of the year is also indicated. The credit summary may be confusing for some of you. Pay attention to the very bottom where the total credits are indicated. Remember, in order to be promoted to the next grade level, one must earn a minimum of five credits for 10th grade, 11 credits for 11th grade, and 17 credits for 12th grade. Ultimately, a total of 24 specific credits are needed to graduate and earn a high school diploma. Using the graduation requirement checklist, you will be able to analyze your transcript to see if you are on track for graduation. As much as possible, please follow the steps as I go through them so you understand how to complete each part. Just as a reminder, this form is a requirement for your PTP, so do not throw it away or lose it. You will be able to access it soon on Hilo High School website. If after this you have questions because you took a course and failed, or have credits that were transferred in, or took a course that was not listed, please see your counselor. The first part is English. Four total credits must be earned with specific credits in English LA-1, English LA-2, and a .5 credit in Expos writing, which can be fulfilled by earning a credit in English 3 or 4, AP English Language or Literature, and or Early College English 100. Refer to your transcript and locate under your ninth grade year, English Language Arts 1. Write the Write in the grade and credit you earned. For example, grade C minus, credit one. Under the ninth column as shown. Similarly, you should have taken world history and culture in your freshman year. In this case, a grade of C and one credit were earned. With math, most of you took algebra one in your freshman year. A grade of B and one credit earned in this particular case. However, some of you may have taken it your eighth grade year and took geometry in your freshman year. In this case, list both under ninth grade. If you retook a failed course, then place it under the year you passed it. Like math, most of you took physical science in your ninth grade year. A B and one credit were earned for this student. However, there are several of you who started off with biology in your freshman year. Notice that physical science is not a graduation requirement. So if you did not take it or failed it, it is not necessary to retake it. But you will need to take another lab science course. Take note that biology is required for graduation. For this category, please ensure that two classes you list are from the same specified program of study. In case the student passed Hawaiian 1A slash B with grades of C and B respectively, next year this student should enroll in Hawaiian 2 and pass to fulfill this graduation requirement. For PE, this student passed ninth grade PE with a C and earned a .5 credit. Next year, this student should enroll in PE courses that qualify for the basic elective PE, like swimming, physical fitness, physical education lifetime activities, or individual or dual sports, as well as health. 
Please refer to your 2018 to 2019 registration guide. Note, team sports and weight training do not count as PE credits. Although you do not receive credit for your PTP until your junior year, it is strongly advised that you make an effort to keep up and complete necessary items throughout the first two years of your high school career. All other courses that do not fall under any category above should be listed under electives. In this case, transitions to high school and team sports one and two are listed. At the end of the year, this student earns seven credits for the ninth grade year and accumulatively, oh my God. Remember that minimally, a student needs to earn five credits in order to be promoted to 10th grade, 11 credits for 11th grade, and 17 credits for 12th graders. 11th graders, please continue filling out your courses for your 10th grade year. Keep track of your own grades and credits will help to ensure graduation in four years. If you have any questions or concerns, please see your counselor immediately. Knowing your status towards graduation will aid in picking your classes for the next school year. Teachers, please distribute the 2018 to 19 registration guide to your students. All of you should be all of you should have received a 2018 to 2019 registration guide. Please read through its pre-selected classes for the next years. However, be sure to have it for next Monday, 12:11 the stars class we will be going through it and using the back page as practice before writing on your official registration form note the cost of a replacement registration form is two dollars